Hey, what's going on, grapplers? Uh, UFC 167 is in the books, and it was a fun night of fights. Interesting night of fights. Uh, previously, I made a video talking about Ray Borg. As we all know, this fight is in Albuquerque, New Mexico, his backyard. But for one reason or another, uh, Ray Borg, he was not able to weigh in at 125 pounds to qualify for the fight. He ended up weighing in at 128 pounds. And with that being said, for me, um, after I found out that, yeah, he took the one hour that the trainers allow for you to go run off the weight, work it off, come back and weigh in, he said that he still couldn't drop a single ounce and still weighed in at 128 pounds. When you get to that point where your body tells you that you just can't lose any more weight, that's concerning going into a fight. Um, the athletic commission, they deemed him healthy to fight, so that was a positive. Um, but at the same time, I'm thinking, okay, well, if you can't lose any more weight, is it a, is it a nutrition thing? Is it a vitamin, is it a mineral type of thing? And even if you make it to the fight, are you going to have cardio problems? Uh, you know, typically, if you're struggling like that, your gas tank isn't where it needs to be at. Um, but pleasantly surprised that Ray Borg did a phenomenal job. Um, I said he needed to go out with a bang, and he did just that. He went out there and out-wrestled his opponent. He pretty much did whatever he needed to do. He was going for submissions. He was taking him down at will, doing highlight takedowns, um, belly, belly to the sky, followed up to dropping him on the mat type of takedowns, and was in full control of the whole fight. That's what I was looking to see. Uh, to stay competitive ray borg's been at the top of the flyweight division for a very long time and i mean he's just a great competitor but i mean not making weight for the fourth time in a row is concerning um so after his dominant victory he was very very apologetic to everybody about it but you know i mean that's the only thing you can do is move on move forward uh he got the w in his backyard so uh, congratulations, man. Happy to see that. Happy to see Ray Borg back in the winner's circle. Uh, the a guy he lost to, Casey Kinney, was on the card. Um, Casey Kinney ended up losing. Um, and the guy that Casey Kinney lost to was a stud, was a beast. And it was just a weird change of events because Casey Kinney was ranked 15th. Uh, Ray Borg was unranked. Uh, Casey Kinney took on... Let me look at my notes real quick. <clears throat> I can't say this name for anything. Casey King took on Murbeck Dualish. Dualvish. Murbeck Dualvish. Yeah, that's who Casey Kinney took on. And I believe he is actually, what was his rank? I don't know if he was ranked at all. So, yeah, we have a situation where we can mix match and have them fight each other. But, hey, I'm not going to hold y'all up, man. Casey, uh... Ray Borg, man, you got the W, you went out with the bang, did what you needed to do. So, Albuquerque, New Mexico, fight night 167. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Peace, I'm out.